Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another additional Creatures 2 uh, Creature Spotlight video. And today is the Pospato Draco, the newest flyer added to additional Creatures 2. So these things, I mean, they're knockout tame. Good luck with that. Level 35. So, I mean, Pranadon is level 38. So you can actually tame these guys first. Um, take regular kibble or mutton. And they are carnivores. And, uh, yeah, if you catch one of these things, you're, uh, the only thing they're immobilized by is a chain bola. So, let me see if I can also get myself, like, some salt. Okay, 100 of it works fine. So, these guys have weight reduction on, on salt, and it's used for one of their attacks. So, their left click is a bite. Right click is, like, a peck attack. They can actually harvest stone for you. Basically, these guys are meant as a flint harvesting machine. And one of the reasons why I say flint harvesting is, um, well, they don't get a weight penalty on flint. They do on metal, though, from 9 pounds to 20.3. And they get a penalty on stone as well. Right, so from 15 pounds to 33.8, more than doubles the weight, which is unfortunately it's a two and a quarter times weight on there. However, salt and sulfur both only weigh 15 percent as much, which is awesome. Now, the Swallow Drac was also immune to all salt-related debuffs, which this thing actually, I believe, this uh, bestows one. Well, I don't think it actually. Yeah, actually, it does have a debuff attached to it. And that is its C attack. Which, uh... It sprays salt out of its nose. I mean, it's... Oh, wrong button. And... Yeah, it... Gauss the salt. It takes five, uh, five salt per, and, uh... It's... Basically, it's a pretty decent sized knockback is the main benefit of that. There is an over raptor down here now. So, uh, the salt spray is a... Uh, looks like it is a status ailment. And looking it up right now, because I didn't realize it was. Salt spray... Uh, status effect that blinds those inflicted by it for 10 seconds. All right, cool. Now, the spray does no damage as well. Now, there is an X variant of these guys on Genesis. A uh, volcanic area. Oh, yeah, you can also gather thatch and wood with these things as well. And, well, the wood and thatch, they don't actually have any weight penalties attached, which is kind of handy. Uh, but the X variant uses the uh, sulfur spray instead. It uses sulfur instead of salt. And sulfur spray drains health at a similar rate to sulfur pools for 10 seconds. So, kind of handy. Uh, the X variant is the only one that can do sulfur. So even if you get sulfur on this guy, it doesn't work, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's pretty handy for a, uh, especially an early game creature. And this could definitely be your first flyer. And one thing I have noticed about these guys is they like to fly close to the ground in the wild. Uh, for the most part, you're going to... Here, let's go ahead and... Regions. Beach. Uh, scorched Earth. They're in the canyons and the oases areas. Uh, sanctuary City. An extinction. Volcanic biome. There's not on Aberration or Genesis Part 2 yet. It might come to part two. I'm not sure yet. Uh, creatures are being added to that mod currently, so don't don't take my word for it if I say the creatures aren't there because they may show up there eventually. Uh, basically, any map, custom map with a uh, like a desert area like Ragnarok, they'll spawn there as well. But uh, I've noticed that they do like to fly close to the ground. So if you're quick, you could probably trap them with some gates, and then trank them out that way. But you'd have to be quick because they. they they're flying close to the ground, so they're still moving at a pretty decent clip. And they're actually a fairly decent flyer. They're they're not slow. They're extremely maneuverable. 
And I mean, they're not quite top of Yara maneuverable, but I mean, they are pretty decent. And you can do drive by no spray attacks. And you can even harvest while on the wing. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't break that rock anyway. But, uh, so if you're trying to get metal, crystal, what have you, and it's a dangerous area, you don't even have to land to get it. You can just fly up, grab what you want. And now a tip is move it to your inventory. Oh, there's a concavenator up here. Hmm. Because in your inventory, it weighs a lot less, right? 24 and a half pounds versus 55 pounds. So, but... Uh, leave the salt in their inventory. Pretty much everything else you want to move to yours because, well, they have weight penalties. But, I mean, it could definitely be worse. Oh, hey, is the Geostorm Berkey up here? Let's go spook it. And that is something I'll be covering in one of the add-on spotlights. Good luck taming those, by the way. But that pretty much covers everything on the uh, Fasbato Draco. Uh, they're... Fairly easy to tame. They don't have extremely high torpor. Uh, you might be able to pull it off with a slingshot. Definitely done it with a boomerang and trank arrows, though. So it's not like you have to wait for darts before you can get them, which is, thank God for that one. And, uh, yeah, easily your first flyer. They're halfway decent in combat. I believe they can actually walk back, so you could, yeah, be fighting something and just backpedaling while, you know, while attacking it. And hopefully keep it out of range. Or at least somewhat mitigate the hits you'll take. And worse comes to worse. You can always just fly away. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one. Sign signing out. Have fun.